So let's all be honest. When we think of math, we think of the challenging subjects and the difficult teachers we had in high school. Not so much of where it originated from or who thought of it in the first place. But let me tell you a story about a man known once as one of the greatest mathematicians who ever lived. Well, one of them. Now this is Johann Frederick Karl Gauss, one of the biggest brains on the foundations of mathematics as we know it. His discoveries and writings influenced people and left a mark in the areas of astronomy, physics, number theory, and electromagnetism. He was always said to be an intelligent child. One instance happened when he was eight years old that left his teacher and the rest of society speechless. Carl's teacher told the class to add up the numbers from 1 to 100 and see what kind of answer they'd get. Almost immediately, Carl shouted, There it lies! in German, then scribbled 5050 on his slate. His teacher was astonished by how fast Carl finished the problem, while the other students were still struggling. It is unknown how Carl accomplished the problem within a few seconds, but researchers have a few guesses to how he did it. S equals N times N plus 1 divided by 2, where N equals 100, therefore 5050. So this seems like a pretty simple equation, right? But where does the 1 come from? Let's imagine a right triangle from numbers 1 to 100. If you split the triangle down the middle from 1 to 50 and 51 to 100, you can make a rectangle of all the numbers from 1 to 100, giving you the correct answer of 5050. Another idea was that if you took the first number, 1, and the last number, 100, you'd get 101. Now, if you were to add all the numbers in pairs, it would be 2 plus 99, 3 plus 98, 4 plus 97. Your answer would be 5050. How? 101 times the 50 pairs of numbers equals 5050. Carl's small yet ingenious moments like these are what got him far with his education. His teacher realizing his potential with discovery. Carl started college at the age of 15. At the end of college, Carl made an almost impossible discovery. He found that a regular polygon with 17 sides could be drawn using a, just a compass and a straight edge. Gauss was so happy about this and proud of his discovery that he gave up on his intention to study languages and turn to mathematics. In 1805, Gauss married Joanna Ostoff with whom he had a son and a daughter before she died in 1809. It was said that Gauss was the happiest during these years, although he soon married Mina Waldeck, his wife's best friend, who gave him three more children, but he was never quite the same. Throughout his life and work, Carl had a passion for perfection and must certainly have been a difficult man to live and work with. Those who knew him best described him as a person who was cold as a glacier. Sadly, in his chosen field of mathematics, he had no collaborators and could never find an intellectual friend in or out of Germany with whom he could share his best thoughts and ideas. Finally, since he published so little and kept to himself so much, his actual impact on mathematics is not as great as his reputation was.